Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm mowers and blowers. <laughs> oh, it's about four in the afternoon. I've been working on this tractor like all day again. My friend Andy from Jericho, he used to be a graphic designer. And so uh, when he took a ride on this thing yesterday, he's like, dude, you need the American star on the hood, right? I go, yeah, I know, but I mean, I couldn't find the stencil. You'd have to order it on eBay or something for like $12 and then they'll send it to you. So it'll take a week for me to get the stencil. He's like, I'll go home and make it for you. So he has like vinyl wrap, you know, he used to wrap cars too. So he's got like extra vinyl and he's just gonna stencil it, cut it with an X-Acto knife and cut the stencil that I need. Uh, his kids uh, slept over last night, so he might be over later to uh, bring it over. Uh, in addition, he's also going to make me an American flag. You know, the little, the little one that the union, it's, the union itself is not going to have the 50 stars because that would be out of control. You know what I mean? That would take like a laser cutter for you to do that, you know, so small. So it's just going to be a black box for the union and then the seven stripes that go across like that, you know, in black. A stencil just to put it over. I'll probably put it here the big star over here, right? So, I've been working on my top secret project all day. And there it is. So that bracket that sticks up, it's, it's a pole holder, right? But I mean, I made it as a pole holder so you can stick a big American flag right into it. You know what I'm saying? Without having to hold the flag while you're writing. So I have my... Uh, Police Lives Matter flag stuck in there. Uh, so I'll show you. Of a glass, small little glass tabletop that went on the side of like a uh, lawn chair or something. As you also see, I was busy with this. That is a refrigerator handle, and I sprayed it, and it's just like an extra handle that you can grip onto. So what do you guys think about my flag holder, huh? Isn't that cool? No, that's not the secret weapon! What are you, crazy? Yeah, you knew I was just screwing with you. There's a secret weapon coming out, man. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, babies. Gatling gun. Pick the flag out. And I got a little hole over here. It's not as easy to put on as I thought. There we go. There we go. Gatling gun, baby! I actually already did this, but my stupid lavalier wouldn't work. So I went through all that for nothing. Anyway, guys, here it is. This is my Gatling gun, and I literally spent two days on it. Probably six hours worth. Pipes over here. You know what? I'm going to put you on a tripod. So the Gatling gun turret itself is made up of aluminum piping that I took off a crutch. You know, if you hurt your leg and you have an aluminum crutch, right? I cut it into pieces. Put it together. Inside there's a plastic like uh, bottle or whatever. Cut a hole through the cap. Stuck the big pipe through there. The remaining six smaller pipes go around the sides. This is just a uh, plastic, um, a uh, sheet metal piece that I wrapped around. This is a uh, radiator hose or something like that. I use it as a <laughs> grenade launcher, right? Uh, this is a handle from some, some machine that I had. I don't remember. And I just uh, hose clamped it on there. This ammunition box with the movable lid that, you know, opens and closes, right? This is uh, from like a gutter conduit or something. I don't remember. I don't know why I even have it, you know? So uh, that's that. And uh, this part here, which is supposed to portray the... The, the rounds of ammunition strapped together into the ammunition box being fed into the uh, Gatling gun. You know what I mean? 
Uh, I've got like this uh, cable coming down, so it looks looks like power going to the uh, the motor, you know. On the other side here, this is a uh, air conditioning AC Freon bottle uh, R two thirty four A, and it was just empty, you know. So I figured it looked like a pretty good. Start, uh, starter motor, you know, uh, the Gatling guns have a motor on the side to power the turret, right? So, and I put this gear thing here. This is off of a Murray front self-propelled gear, right? This here, this part here is just a prop, just to cover up the hole, you know? Um, this is a toolbox, a plastic toolbox that I cut into, right? And uh, this is like the side air isolating tin near the flywheel on a push mower. This knob over here is again to just cover up crap, you know. Then I spray painted everything black. This knob actually is from a washing machine. I actually have a connector here where you can connect to make it look even more official, you know, like it's connecting onto something. Hey, it is connected to something. Shh. All right, the cat, the cat's out of the bag. You guys know. I'm just gonna. I'm not just gonna have it like that. It actually connects onto something. Not only. Does it look like a Gatling gun? You turn the switch to run. And the lights go on, right? Ho! Wild, huh? I had an old Ryobi power drill, right? Still a little tacky from the paint. Uh, I had a Ryobi 6 volt, really old, like 20 years old. Ryobi 6 volt drill, you know, screwdriver, whatever. And uh, I mean, the battery, it wasn't even the kind where you can take the battery out. It was the batteries inside the handle, you know, of the gun. So uh, I don't know why I had it. I, I guess I thought I could use it someday. So. Fast forward 18 years, I'm using it today. I take it apart, I take the batteries out, and I connect the red, black, and white wires to positive and negative, right? The white one allows it to go the other direction. So it goes both directions, like a drill. I don't know how the real one does, but... Um, yeah, it vibrates a little because it's not really supported with like another bearing on this side, you know what I mean? I mean, if I had another week or so, I probably would have made it really nice with ball bearings in it, you know, with, you know, I really could have, I mean, if I really wanted to do it, I could really make a cool Gatling gun setup, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just wanted to have this, you know, and it's, of course, this is my first Gatling gun <laughs> DIY, right? They actually have a few videos on YouTube about the Gatling gun DIYs. It's just so cool, you know? Love the Gatling gun. Anyway, so the wire is positive and negative. It's attached straight to the headlight switch. So if I wanted this to move, you know, spin, just to blow people's minds, right? I would uh, switch it to the lights and it would work. But other than that, man, it's just a prop, you know? I might drive this around the block later and scare the shit out of people. Me uh, driving around with this thing. Scare the heck out of people, you know what I mean? <laughs> so my friend Andy from Jericho, uh, he came over yesterday and he took a ride on this thing. He loved it. And he said, I definitely need a star. And so he's going to come over with a stencil. He used to be a graphic designer, so he can create a stencil out of vinyl for me, and we'll put the star here and maybe a flag on each side, you know. But uh, how about it, huh? A lot of fun putting this uh, project together. It was uh, probably the most interesting project that I've done since I started the channel. And uh, your names are on here for those that uh, contributed to the paint job. Thank you very much. You're memorialized on the hood of this thing forever, or at least until I sell it. Should I sell it? No, I'm not gonna sell it. Well, somebody gives me a thousand dollars, I'll sell it, you know?
Uh, anyway, I just put some ATF in the front wheels because uh, they had a, a little faster leak than the back wheels. So I'm going to go for a ride and uh, rotate that uh, ATF around the tires. So I didn't take any video of when I actually put the turret together, but uh, I did take some time-lapse video of the rest of it, and uh, here it is. Desert Sand Hummer. bag this here is my $20 
GoPro clone, 20 bucks. Press that for like three seconds. It turns on and it actually records at 4K, 25 frames per second. Wide angle. It's super small and super light. Let's see how it records. I just took some footage. I can't tell you whether or not the sound is good or the video looks good, but 20 bucks though? Super cheap, you know? Looks like a GoPro. Anyway, it came in this box, and it also came with all this stuff, too. Sometimes, if you think about it, just these things is worth 20 bucks. It has a waterproof case, right? All kinds of accessories. Cable, charger. Uh, I don't know what that is. Some kind of a thing that you could strap to your body, I guess, you know? Um, all kinds of different brackets covers these thingamajigs you can put them on your handlebars if you want if you're riding a bike I mean just these accessories here is, is, is like 20 bucks I bet you these all fit GoPros too if you guys have GoPro stuff and you need more brackets and accessories 20 bucks will get you the camera plus all these these accessories you know what I mean pretty good feels like it's pretty good quality I mean I don't know how you can possibly make any money selling this thing for 20 bucks, you know? What about the shipping? The shipping will cost you like eight, you know? 3M uh, stickers to mount these things. So, I mean, look, 20 bucks. How do you go wrong, right? Uh, let's see how the video looks. So here's my $20 camera. It's taking video at 4K at 25 frames per second. I'm just experimenting with this camera. Let's see how it looks for $20. How's the sound? It has a wide frame so you can catch a lot of what you need in the frame, which is good. Almost like it's concave, you know what I mean? So the sound was terrible for my Akaso Brave 7 LE, but that cost $152. Let's see what $20 will do. Will this be good enough for just like... Uh-oh. Oh, it has a screen shut off after a minute. So the screen shut off after a minute so to save battery, but it continuously... Um, records. Let's see how the sound is. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this multi-part series of my Desert Sand Humvee Franken Tractor 2 project. I want to thank uh, Nick from Metford who gave me the rolling chassis, uh, the two Kohler parts, and uh, Larry and Bobby for giving me the third Kohler parts to make the engine. Uh, thank you to all the subscribers who donated money for the paint job, and thank everybody for voting, including the silent watchers, for uh, coming down, narrowing it down to the final paint job that we got. This project has been very fun, very interesting. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do it before, and you definitely haven't seen anybody make a Gatling gun from scratch just for the, just for the look of it, you know? Uh, Short of my friend Andy from Jericho coming over and putting the star here in the flag stencil, we're pretty much done with this. Um, I might take a day off. I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.